this is hard, but, but this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So just bear with me. Um, don't let anybody else out. <laughs> You're making, I've heard people say You're making a career out of I'm making a career Out of Out of telling my story And trying to express And trying to get people to understand What happens to people Children especially Who have been um, Shut down By any kind of, of uh, Abuse or whatever and during the years that I was growing up, and I'm pretty sure that we can all pretty much agree on this, you didn't talk about things like this. People just didn't talk about them. We kept quiet. And uh, <clears throat> certainly in our house, we kept very, very quiet. And I hear a lot of people still, even in our own family, say things like, nobody cares what happened to Susie 30 years ago. It's nobody's business. But the reason it's everybody's business is because there's a new Susie created every two minutes in this country. Every two minutes there's a person, male or female, child, adult, sexually assaulted in this country. Every two minutes. I can't say that enough. And that's why all the Susies are everybody's business. And it's everywhere. You know, and, and there's been some that have thought, well, I shouldn't do this, it's Brockton, it's the to go your name. But what's that got to do with anything? When I was growing up in Brockton, there were, well, I think I had some pictures up there. There was two ministers, a priest, a counselor, a teacher, and a couple of other people that were just business people that were sexual predators. You know, so I, you know, um, it's, it, it's, and it's not just Brockton, it's not just Westfield, it's like every country, every country, every city, every, every place. 